Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to be working on this Challenger and we're gonna be cleaning out the k and filter. We're gonna be using this k and kit. This kit comes with the filter oil and the cleaner. I'm also gonna be showing you some of the steps that I take to clean these out a little bit better. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have the k and filter here. It's already a little bit loose, so it's easy to take off. You guys can see here it's a little bit dirty, a little bit crusty. Let's go ahead and start cleaning it. First things first, we're gonna blow out the filter from the inside with compressed air. We wanna do this so we try to get as much dirt and dust off of it as possible before we actually do the cleaning. Next step is gonna to be to use a cleaner to clean off all the excess oil and any excess grime that has built up on the air filter. We just spray it in on the outside, then on the inside, then after that we can rinse it off. Before doing that though, I like using steam to clean it from the inside out. Steam is very, very hot, hot water, and my steamer pretty much cleans out any debris and any excess oil that has built up and gunked up. So let's go ahead and use a cleaner, get it nice and soapy, on the outside, then on the inside. <coughs> and this cleaner is very, very strong. So be careful, make sure that the area you're working in is very ventilated because this thing is uh, definitely <coughs> strong. Then we're gonna let it for sit for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna come with the steam and clean it out from the inside out. Now that we've let the soap sit for 10 minutes on the filter, we're gonna use our steamer to clean it from the inside out. All right, so we rinsed it off, which is clean water, and it's looking a lot more clean. It looks brand new. I love these K&N filters when they're cleaned off after hard use because they look brand new and I love looking at the results of the cleaning. So after that, nice little rinse off, we're gonna just go ahead and blow it out again from the inside out with compressed air until it's nice and dry. We're gonna let it sit and make sure it's nice and dry before we put it on the car. All right, so this is what it looks like after cleaning and letting it sit. All right, we got the K&N filter here, nice and cleaned out. It looks amazing. Very happy with the way it came out and it breathes really well. Last thing we gotta do is spray it down with the K&N filter oil. You gotta be really careful with spraying this down. You don't wanna overly spray it because too much oil will attract too much dirt and it'll clog it up a lot faster. So you wanna just mist it. And all you're doing is just trying to get the material a little bit damp, a little bit wet, so it doesn't dry out and doesn't break down the K&N filter. So just spray it on nice and, sim nice and easy. All you wanna do is one pass. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Don't go too crazy with it, nice and easy. One pass, that's more than enough. All right, let's go ahead and put it back on. A few more pointers using the spray. You wanna be about three inches away from the filter and you wanna uniformly cover all of the filter. Obviously, making sure that you get most of the coverage on the filter itself. Let's go ahead and put it back on. 